people and dogs have always been BFS. But today, we're going to look at five dogs that went above and beyond what we normally expect from our canine companions, and in the process, changed the course of history. Let's get started. But before we start, take a moment to like and subscribe for more fun fauna facts. Number five. Rin Tin Tin. You might have seen Rin Tin Tin star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, along with Strongheart and Lassie. This Hollywood superstar German Shepherd was rescued from a World War I battlefield by an American soldier, Lee Duncan, who nicknamed him Renty. Following advances made by American forces during the Battle of St. Miel, Corporal Lee Duncan, an aerial gunner of the U.S. Army Air Services, was sent forward on September 15, 1918, to a small French village of Flary to see if it would make a suitable flying field for his unit, the 135th Aero Squadron. The area had been subject to bombs and artillery, and Duncan found a severely damaged kennel which had once supplied the Imperial German Army with German Shepherd dogs. The only dogs left alive in the kennel were a starving mother with a litter of five nursing puppies, their eyes still shut. Duncan rescued the dogs and brought them back to his unit. After they were weaned, Duncan gave the mother and three of the puppies to members of his unit, but kept Renty and his sister Nanette both named after good luck charms French children often give you as soldiers. In July 1919, Duncan managed to bundle the dogs aboard a ship taking them back to the U.S. at the end of the war. How did Renty change history? By 1923, Warner Brothers were near bankruptcy and were in desperate need of a hit film. Renton Tin's first starring role was in Where the North Begins, playing alongside silent screen actress Claire Adams. The film was a huge success, and has often been credited with saving Warner Brothers from bankruptcy. It was followed by 24 more screen appearances. Each of these films was very popular, making such a profit for Warner Brothers that Rin Tin Tin was called the Mortgage Lifter by Studio Insiders. His descendants went on to play even more roles, to be spokes dogs for the American Humane Society, and distant relatives can even be found as service dogs today. Number 4 Smokey You might have expected a German Shepherd to be on the list of dogs that have changed history, but did you expect a Yorkie? Smokey, a four-pound Yorkie found in a New Guinea foxhole, is said to have been the first therapy dog, but her story is much more interesting than that. When she was found in that foxhole, she was already a young adult. The soldiers initially thought the small dog belonged to the Japanese, but after taking her to a nearby camp, they realized she did not understand commands in Japanese or English. For the next two years, Smokey backpacked through the rest of the war and accompanied Corporal William A. Wynn on combat flights in the Pacific. She faced adverse circumstances, living in the New Guinea jungle in Rock Islands, suffering the primitive conditions of tents and equatorial heat and humidity. Throughout her service, Smokey slept in Wynn's tent on a blanket made from a green felt card table cover. She shared Wynn's rations and an occasional can of Spam. Unlike the official war dogs of World War II, Smokey had access to neither veterinary medicine nor a balanced diet formulated especially for dogs. In spite of this, Smokey was never ill. Smokey served in the South Pacific with the 5th Air Force, 26th Photo Recon Squadron, and flew 12 Air Sea Rescue and Photo Reconnaissance missions, according to Wynn. Smokey was credited with 12 combat missions and awarded 8 battle stars. She survived 150 air raids on New Guinea and made it through a typhoon in Okinawa. Wynn credited Smokey with saving his life by warning him of incoming shells on an LTS transport ship, calling her an angel from a foxhole. As the ship deck was booming and vibrating from anti-aircraft gunnery, Smokey guided Wynn to duck the fire that hit eight men standing next to them. In her downtime, Smokey learned numerous tricks, which she performed for the entertainment of troops with special services and in hospitals from Australia to Korea. According to Wynn, Smokey taught him as much as he taught her, and she developed a repertoire beyond that of any dog of her day. In 1944, Yank Down Under magazine named Smokey the champion mascot in the Southwest Pacific area. Smokey's tricks enabled her to become a hero in her own right by helping engineers to build an airbase at Lingayen Gulf, Luzon, a crucial airfield for Allied warplanes. 
Early in the Lausanne campaign, the Signal Corps needed to run a telegraph wire through a 70-foot long pipe that was 8 inches in diameter. The soil had sifted through the corrugated sections at the pipe joinings, filling as much as half of the pipe, giving Smokey only 4 inches of headway in some places as she ran the line through. Smokey's work saved approximately 250 ground crewmen from having to move around 40 fighters in reconnaissance planes while a construction detail dug up the taxiway, which would have placed the men and the planes in danger from enemy bombings. What would have been a dangerous three-day digging task to place the wire was instead completed by this little dog in minutes. After returning to the States, Wynn and Smokey were featured in a page one story with photographs in the Cleveland Press on December 7, 1945. Smokey soon became a national sensation. Over the next 10 years, Smokey and Wynn traveled to Hollywood and all over the world to perform demonstrations of her remarkable skills, which include walking a tightrope while blindfolded. Smokey performed in 42 live television shows without ever repeating a trick. Smokey and Wynn were also very popular entertainers at the veterans' hospitals until she passed away in 1957 at the approximate age of 14. Nearly 50 years later, on Veterans Day, November 11, 2005, a bronze life-size sculpture of Smokey sitting in a GI helmet atop a two-ton blue granite base was unveiled. It is placed above the very spot that Smokey was laid for her final rest. This monument is dedicated to Smokey the Yorkie Doodle Dandy and the dogs of all yours. Number 3 Robot a dog doesn't have to be a purebred to be a hero. It was the end of summer 1940. The Second World War was on, and France was a key battleground. Outside the country's occupied zone, five boys and their dogs went treasure hunting in the woods. As they walked the path along the Vizier River, Robot, a white mutt with a brown patch around his left eye, ran ahead. The dog was drawn to a hole in the ground covered by foliage. The boys hurried to catch up with Robot, but once they reached the hole, the dog had disappeared. When Robot responded to the boy's calls, his bark was muffled from inside the entrance of a cave beneath the less calm manor. The boys, thinking Robot found a tunnel, descended into the hole and found a cave full of 17,000-year-old paintings. What our Mongol heroes seemed to have stumbled upon that September day was nothing less than the evidence of our ancestors' sensory evolution. One theory suggests that in flickering flame, the paintings are designed to appear to move, making them the earliest animated motion. Robot had definitely led the boys to treasure. Number two. Balto. If you love dogs, you've likely seen the movie Balto. If not, just do it. It might not be factually accurate, but it's a great movie. In January 1925, Doctors realized that a potentially deadly diphtheria epidemic was poised to sweep through Nome, Alaska. The only serum that could stop the outbreak was an anchorage. The engine of the only aircraft that could quickly deliver the medicine was frozen and wouldn't start. After considering all the alternatives, officials decided to move the medicine via multiple dog sled teams. The serum was transported by train from Anchorage to Nanana, where the first musher embarked as part of a relay aimed at delivering the needed serum to Nome. More than 20 mushers took part, facing a blizzard with negative 23 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures and strong winds. On February 2, 1925, the Norwegian Gunnar Kaysen drove his team, led by a Siberian husky named Balto, into Nome. Balto proved himself on the Iditarod Trail, saving his team in the Tophak River. Balto was also able to stay on the trail in near whiteout conditions and Balto's team did their leg of the run almost entirely in the dark. After the mission's success, Balto became a celebrity. A statue of Balto, sculpted by Frederick Roth, was erected in New York City's Central Park on December 17, 1925, just 10 months after Balto's arrival in Nome. Balto himself was present for the monument's unveiling. The statue is located on the main path leading north from Tisch Children's Zoo. In front of the statue, a low-release slate plaque depicts Balto's sled team and bears the following inscription. Dedicated to the indomitable spirit of the sled dogs that relayed antitoxin 600 miles over rough ice across treacherous waters 
through Arctic blizzards from Nanana to the relief of stricken Nome in the winter of 1925. Endurance, Fidelity, Intelligence While all the dogs we discovered so far have made marks in the 20th century, our next dog takes us way back, as in 456 BC. We publish every Monday and Friday, so hit that notification icon to not miss a single fact. Number 1 Soder In 456 BC, the city of Corinth was protected by guard dogs trained to warn of invaders. One night, a group of Persians snuck into Corinth in an attempt to seize the city. It was nighttime and soldiers were sleeping. No one was expecting an attack. Of the 50 guard dogs that fought to protect the city, Persian invaders killed 49, but one escaped. The dog named Soter warned the Corinthians and they fought off the Persian invaders. As a reward, the people of Corinth gave Soter a pension for life and a silver collar that read, To Soter, Defender and Savior of Corinth, and built a monument to him and the dogs who died. Do you have any tales of canine heroism to share? Tell us about it in the comments below. Want more fun final facts? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification icon to not miss a single fact. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, this button works. Well, that other button also works. If you'd like to help us grow, consider becoming a patron on Patreon or clicking the PayPal link on animalfacts.us. And as always, catch you next time.